Hello there, welcome to Jen Smalls, my name is Ben Warden and welcome to a new inbox review. We're going to be taking a look at a um, bit of an oldie here, it's a um, 2014 new tooled kit, it's by Tamiya, it is in 170 second scale and it is of a F16 CJ Block 50 Fighting Falcon. Um, F uh, 170 scale might not be everyone's cup of tea, but um, considering how much prices of kits are going up now, maybe um, diving into a bit of 172 scale wouldn't hurt, especially um, I'm running out of space of where to put finished kits, so it might not be too bad. Um, so yeah, box art looking rather nice, very typical um, Tamiya. We've got a couple of markings on the side just here, two. We'll find out if there is just two um, in total. Um, this kit comes in at around about the £23 mark, right? So, not a bad price for a Tamiya Jet 172 scale. So, let's just uh, jump straight in with what we have here first. Well, um, we'll jump in with the canopy to start with. Right, which straight away that is a really nice crystal clear canopy. Um, is there a like, yeah, there is like a light little seam going down the middle as you kind of normally would expect, so a bit of sand in there and polishing up. Um, should be no problems with our clear parts just there. First bit of surface detail on this kit um, the construction kind of does seem like they're 148 scale quite similar to that um, but let's have a close look at what surface detail we have on here yes um, I mean it does look like we've got some pretty sort of noise crisp even consistent well on this piece anyway of recessed panel lines recessed rivets um, I mean they are are they shallow? I mean, do I mean, ooh, are they gonna take a wash? Um, yeah, I mean, that is close. I mean, it's either very fine or um, maybe a light bit of rescribing. Uh, I don't know, it should should be fine. It might need a little bit of rescribing. Um, it is a little bit hard to feel because it is quite, quite fine, but you know, it does look pretty damn good for a 170 second scale kit. Uh, moving along with. Um, the rest of the surface detail, let's see how consistent we are with this. Right, here are our, our, our wing sections. Again, do you know what? Actually, pretty damn good surface detail, just what you'd expect from Tamiya on both sides there. A bit of, I think this is the top part of the fuselage section again. Loads, I mean, you can just see that surface detail. Looks, looks gorgeous. And yes, it is looking nice and consistent. Um, again on the underside nice sort of consistent very nice detail going on there looking very crisp actually very very nice a uh, bit of the towel section here again on that surface detail uh, let's quickly flip this over um, yes this this does come all in one piece kind of nice there as well kind of saves you a bit of time gluing and everything uh, same with the towel section as well um, oh, we've got the cockpit tub just here, and actually, again, nice detail going on just there. Really good for 172 second scale. Uh, flip this over. Um, instrument display panel, really, really tiny. Very, very tiny. Kind of a bit hard to see, but you can make out the screens on there. Um, really good detail from ta Tamiya on that one. Rather, rather impressive, actually. Uh, moving along with the last couple of bags, uh, we have, is this a double sprue? Yep, that's a double sprue. So um, there is two ejector seats, right? Um, we do have a whole bunch of missiles on here, right? So uh, I'm not seeing any bombs. It's just the missile side of things. Um, pylons again the surface detail looking very consistent um, throughout all the pieces some wheels as well those hubcaps looking nice and detailed we'll flip this over check for eject pin marks um, okay yeah we've got a couple on the missiles you can just see rotate that you know we've got a couple of eject pin marks going on really tiny ones but they are kind of all over these missiles. That's a little bit of a shame because, I mean, it's been pretty a good-looking kit. 
Um, yeah, a little bit of work on those weapons is probably going to be needed um, just to tidy up those eject pin marks. Uh, then we have what looks like some air intakes and stuff here. Yeah, we've got the uh, bit of landing gear wheel well just, just there. Um, yeah, I am seeing eject pin mark just inside there, just two little ones there. But there is a nice bit of detail going on with that inside. Our air intake is all kind of nice and smooth and no eject pin marks in there, which is nice. Um, looking at this tiny detail, just want to check sort of, because this is quite a bit of a 90 degree angle, this is flowing over just here and there. Sometimes you do lose the detail as you go over and it is looking like it's all still there and all, all good, which is good. A um, bit of the exhaust, well, nicely detailed if we get you to focus. Right, nice detailed exhaust both inside and out. So very impressive. Um, then we've got our last quick sprue just here. Right, this has a nice pilot in it. It is nice to see pilots. Um, I must admit there's so many kits these days where they just don't, I don't know, just don't seem to want to put pilots in there but it is so nice to have that option if you want to because it's a bit of a pain to have to go off and get aftermarket parts but a um, few other bits of detail and um, the pilot i mean they've got his visor down so i mean there's no sort of detail on you know eyes mouth nose but i think we can um, live with that um yeah i mean it doesn't look too bad not too badly detailed um then we have some of our landing gear bits and doors so let's flip this over and check for those ejector pin marks which looking good on the landing gear um kind of seeing a little one maybe right just there on the um, wheel well door but that doesn't look too bad actually um but yeah looking pretty pretty good a uh, quick one on our decals or decals let's get these out and take a quick look um, these are, I do believe, all the decals that come with this and hopefully as you can see, you know, we do have all our weapons on here which for one seven second scale, I mean there's quite a, a, a lot of nice detail going on with this, right, um, we have some nice markings, I mean, um, they, they kind of feel like your typical Tamiya type decals, I mean, um, maybe a little bit thicker than normal, which is why you probably have to go off and use the Mr. Mark softer and setter. Um, but Tammy is normally quite good for getting them down. Um, and hopefully, as you can see there, um, you know, these tigers look really, really nice. Everything looks in registry. Even the small writing is almost sort of, you know, you can sort of almost mech that out, which is rather, rather good. Um, so, a quick jump onto the instructions. It is probably going to be similar to that of the, um, the 140 Ape scale version they did. And we've got a few things going on here. So, let's just take this first little booklet just here. Let's bring you in a little bit closer. Right, so first off, um, looks like we have two sets of markings A and B. Right, um, looking at it, I mean, yeah, you've got the color call that's using the Tamiya paints. Looks quite easy to kind of follow where all the decals go. Uh, flip this over. Oh, we've got three sets of markings, which is rather nice. So three sets of markings. I do believe the color schemes are basically the same, just the, the decals are, are basically different. So three sets of markings, nice. Um, what do we have here? Hmm. Okay, it looks like we've got a couple of... Actually, this looks like a nice... Yeah, this does look like a nice, good description. That is quite cool. You know, they've actually gone off and sort of give you a nice little booklet to read about the aircraft itself. That is a really nice touch in two different languages. So, yeah, that is, I do, that is a nice touch. That is nice to see them do things like that. So then this must be our instructions. Uh, which is going to be the the fold out. I mean, I don't like it, but it is what it is. Um, and yeah, it does look like the typical Tamiya kind of construction of the 148 scale. Um, this bit here, that's going to probably take a little bit of work. I mean, the fit is normally good from Tamiya, but bringing those two um, top parts of the fuselage together, I mean, you're going to have a bit of a glue line there, and that might take a little bit of work sort of um, tackling that. 
Um, does seem to explain and show what colours everything is in the cockpit. Uh, a bit of the landing gear wheel well bay there. Um, and yeah, you kind of bring the two halves of the, the, the fuselage together. Um, yes, we've got two different versions here. So look out, you know, pick, you know, A, B or C, which um, markings you want to do because there are different pieces for the different markings. Uh, bringing those two wing sections together again. I mean seeming quite easy actually with those wings being one piece um, The exhaust Yeah, you know, that looks quite nice and easy as well um, The landing gear as well. I mean, you know, I mean does look like the instructions are going to get you nicely there Which they normally do with Tamiya Right, but I'm not seeing any major problems. I mean, there's that bit with the fuselage like right, that bit is going to be a bit you know be careful with that this area here where the air intake is you know just be careful test fit around that area um, and then actually putting it onto the fuselage section as well but that is literally kind of like probably bringing the model nicely together now so yeah it's kind of putting all your little bits and bobs um, on the outside um, yeah, actually putting, uh, actually nicely putting the ejector seat at the end where you normally kind of do put it in if you're having the canopy open, which is nice to see. Um, and then we've got the weapons, which it kind of shows you the colours and markings and decals on um, this bit here for the weapons. So nice to see them do that. So all in all, I mean, yes, it is a 2014 um, new tool kit. So 2014, getting a little bit old, but actually that kit does still look like it's got a lot, lot in it. Um, and for 23 pounds, I think that is pretty a nice worth it kit. You know, 23 pounds, um, a jet. I know it's 170 second scale, but that has got bags and bags of detail. Yes, there is a couple of those um, eject pin marks in a few sort of places you wouldn't want them. Um, but apart from that, I mean, everything about it looks really, really good. Fantastic looking surface detail. Being Tamiya should go together rather, rather well. So yeah, definitely a big thumbs up and definitely a big recommendation. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. But as always, until next time, my name is Bob Walden, this is Genesis Models, and I'll catch you in the next video.